Hey guys, welcome to Home Built by Jeff, and this week I'm gonna build a super simple sim racing rig. So as usual, I'm pretty late to the game, but um, for Christmas, Mrs. Jeff was uh, good enough to get me a steering wheel set up for um, doing some sim racing. And um, I thought I would make up a rig um, so that I can actually uh, use everything the way it's supposed to be used. So to start with, um, I've dug up my old 911 seat because I thought, you know, what better for a, uh, a racing sim than a real poor seat. But uh, it's looking a bit dusty and dirty, but uh, this will clean up quite nicely. There's no rips and tears. It's actually quite good condition. So um, this will make a nice place to sit. So now what I do is uh, pull all these things together and make a simple, a, about as simple as I can possibly make set up so that um, I can get sim racing. So I did my measurements and I found out that the, um, the factory seat rails on this old 911 seat are just wide enough so that I can mount them straight onto the top of these timbers and the pedals will sit down in between them when they're at the right width, which is perfect because I want the pedals to be a bit lower than the base of the seat. So that gives me a really nice height to work with. And I sat the seat down and sat in the seat and uh, measured the pedals and measured the distance from the pedals to the back of the seat to give me a, just a, a ballpark idea of how much room I'm going to need. Um, and I came up with a measurement of uh, roughly 1250mm from the back of the seat to the back of the pedal box. So I cut out a couple of lengths of timber and then I cut out a couple of um, pieces the correct width so that uh, it'll line up with my seat rails. And now I'm just gonna screw them all together into a box and then go from there. That was uh, very simple and a big chunk of the job is done. So um, I had to screw the seat in a couple of times. I just, um, when I first put it in, I couldn't quite reach the pedals because I'm not that tall. So um, readjusted the screws, re-screwed it in, great distance. What I did with the, uh, the pedal set is um, I actually found a piece of scrap timber. This sits just a bit shorter, so this sits 25 mil lower than the uh, the top edge, and I've dropped it in the end, which gives the a nice slope on my pedal set, and also it means that the back of the pedal set is hitting into the frame, so the pedals won't slide forward, but the pedals aren't locked in there permanently, they're not gonna move anywhere, but I can pick them up and move it out of the way really quickly and easily if I choose to. Really happy with that setup and that little slope gets the pedals in just the right angle because I'm sitting low. Um, it's just sort of tilted the pedals up nicely. So um, I'm happy with that. So the next job is to do a bit of uh, measuring and see how I go getting the right position for the steering wheel. So my next step was to try and work out roughly, roughly where the steering wheel needs to be. And to do that, I basically got my level and sort of sat the level up, trying to sort of hold the level and the steering wheel and sit in the right spot and work out where I want the steering wheel to be. And I sort of roughly uh, found, found my spot, which was, uh, in this case, I think it was 590 mil back from the far end of my rig. And I also sort of roughly worked out the height that I wanted the table uh, for my steering wheel and uh, the, off the floor I wanted it 570 millimetres, that was, seemed to be the right uh, height for me. 
So um, I cut a couple of uh, uprights to go on here and that's my next job is to screw them in and uh, see if we can make up a table frame. All right, I've just sat this old uh, board on top, which happens to be the right width, but um, obviously it needs to be trimmed down. And I've got uh, four posts here so that I've got room on the back to mount, uh, to sit my TV on the back here. Um, I've now realized that the steering wheel is just a little bit too high for me. So I'm gonna go through and um, chop 50 mil off all of them. Just, uh, I think that should be just about right. And um, then I should be able to hopefully screw it all together and see how it works. Okay, that was about as simple as you're going to get for a racing sim setup using my old Porsche seat. Uh, so um, now the last thing to do is give it a coat of paint so it doesn't look quite as awful as it does at the moment. With a coat of paint, that actually doesn't look quite as, uh, as crappy as it did before. Including filming and all the rest and, and painting it, it's probably taken me about an hour, hour and a half to build total. Um, it's a really quick and simple project. Um, and I think it's gonna do the job quite nicely. There's, uh, there's nice space here for me to uh, sit my uh, spare little TV on it. So, um, all right, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go and use it. All right, see you guys.